Can you guess three things humanity can't survive without? Water, yes. Oxygen, also essential. And the third? Win-win markets. Yes, win-win markets. Sounds odd, doesn't it? It's not exactly something you can use to breathe or drink. But a defining trait of humankind has been our ability to work together with tools, with each other, developing marketplaces, and ultimately forming an economic system. Together with social advances, this form of capitalism, when based on win-win human interactions, has helped elevate people out of poverty and illiteracy like no other economic system before it. And an increase in economic freedom significantly increases quality of life, health and life expectancy. A bit like water, like oxygen. Does that make capitalism perfect? No. Are there people who exploit others in their pursuit of wealth? Yes. It's just a system for growing wealth. It doesn't account for how that wealth is accumulated or what it's used to finance. It's up to us, as users of the system, to determine how we want to make use of the opportunities it offers for moving every trade and every transaction towards win-win. And while it may seem like an overwhelming task to transform capitalism, we've done it several times before. In the 16th century, feudalism's barter economy gave way to monetary economics. Land and property became viable currencies, and the growth of state power led to states issuing their own notes and coins. In the mid-18th century, the first industrial revolution transformed this capitalism. The largely state-financed changes led to many of the monopolies that in the last century we have started to break up to encourage a more free and competitive market economy thus transforming capitalism again. Change, due to either military, economic, political or social necessity, is an integral part of capitalism's history. Changing it again requires that we begin to ask ourselves what kind of wealth we want, and then to take a stand on how it should be created. At Saxo, we don't just put our trust in capitalism, but in humanity, because we believe in you. You can influence how money should be accumulated by pursuing win-win transactions. And whether we call it rational capitalism, humanistic capitalism, or win-win capitalism, doesn't matter. What matters is striving for a system where others win when you win, where the value of money depends on how it's earned, spent, and invested.